I look ridiculous, but cute, but ridiculous. <laughs> Hello friends, Jetrin is here. I know it's been it's been about a minute since I've uploaded a video, but in today's video, I'm going to do an entire collection and review of the Starface skincare brand. And yeah, if you're interested, please keep on watching. So if you're like me, if you never heard of Starface before, pretty much they were founded back in 2019. That was when they launched their products. Uh, the founder name is Julia Scott with her co-owner, Brian Bardena. And pretty much this entire brand is focused on treating acne, pimple, zits, but while having fun. With a theme of like Mars, like outer space, I saw their packaging and their very famous pimple patches and got very intrigued to try it. Starting off, the star, literally the star of the show, are these pimple patches called the Hydro Star from Starface. Uh, this does retail for $10.99 for a 32 pack, but with the case, it does retail for $14.99. Now, pretty much hydrocolic is an active ingredient that helps treat wounds and scars in the medical field. So, pretty much our acnes and, you know, pimples are just like scars in a way. Now by using this, you just peel one off and apply it to a pimple or even acne that you do have. Leave it overnight and in the morning, you just peel it off and it's supposed to shrink the pimple or acne by size. Besides their famous yellow stars, they do come in different designs on their websites. I've seen some rainbows, I've seen some fonts, like wordings, and I do have the glow in the dark one, which is so cool. This is the color, it's kind of, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like kind of greenish. And they do offer collaboration and limited edition uh, designs as well. The one I do have is from Hello Kitty. This is so cute. I kind of like these a little bit better because the surface area is a lot bigger. So it does cover more of like bigger pimples or acne that you do have compared to the original one. These pimple patches does work. I have to say they work a little bit better if you do have like a smaller zit or a smaller pimple or even, you know, if you feel like a pimple is coming up. Um, but if you do have like bigger acne, you know, I personally think you should just use something like the Mario Badescu that's just going to help shrink it down more. I do love these for traveling. I think, you know, they don't take up a lot of space. They're not going to spill anywhere. And yeah, they're just easy to just throw in your bag. Now, I don't recommend you buying this if you're going to use it on an everyday basis. So if you do have a lot of pimple or acne, uh, I think cost per wear is just not the best choice for these. Now, I did the calculation and based from what I got is one pimple patches cost 34 cent. You know, if you're going to use this every day, it's going to add up for sure. Personally for me, I think it's better to pick up an alternative brand like Mighty Patches or even Co, I think it's called Co RX. You'd get more pimple patches for less cost. So, you know, trying to save a little money here and there for you. Next up, we have the Starface Space Wash Foaming Facial Cleanser. Now this does retail for $10.99 and it does come with 4.2 ounces. They do claim this is just a basic, gentle, but yet effective cleanser to help remove dirt, oil, and impurities. Now after using this product for a good two months, I have to say it's an okay cleanser. It's very basic, very generic in my opinion. If you do have oily skin like I do, I think you will appreciate this a little better because it really does strip out all the oils. Now for people with normal to dry skin, I don't recommend this. I think it's just too stripping and too drying. If you do use this, definitely moisturize afterwards. Also, I don't really love how this smells. In my opinion, this smells kind of like very powdery slash earthy tones, if that's the best way I can describe it. The good thing is it doesn't linger on my face because it is a cleanser, you do wash it off. The scent wise, I, mm, I can do without. Now going back to how much product you are getting in here, you're getting 4.2 fluid ounce. If you compare it to other brands like CeraVe, even Verse, you're getting less product for your money. So packaging is very deceiving because it does look like you are getting a lot, but really you're getting less product compared to the competitors. I would probably use this cleanser maybe in the summertime when it gets a little hot and I'm like a grease ball. I think this will work so good. The next item I have here is the Starface Exfoliant Night Water. Pretty much this is a toner 
and this does retail for $11.99 and it comes with 4.1 fluid ounce. It does have an active ingredient of AHA, BHA, PHA to help unclog pores, calm redness, and brighten the skin. So if you're familiar with like the Pixi Glow Tonic water or even the Polish Choice, it's kind of like the similar type of product. First off, I have to say I do appreciate the packaging. Can you hear it? The plastic is very sturdy and you can definitely reuse this, you know, put your acetone, alcohol in it because it does have like a pump. So I love the packaging and the design of this. However, the product itself, mm, I'm a little 50-50. Overall, I have to say after using this product for a good two months, it does work. Um, I feel like my skin does feel smoother in the next morning after using this at night But I have to say I don't like how this applies. I feel like it just burns My face feels very sensitive and it feels like there's like a hundred like needles pricking at my skin Now the good thing is it does go away about like 10 to 15 minutes But I'm just like why do I have to feel that sensation, you know? Now on their website they do say you can use this every night if you want to But if you have sensitive skin, you know cut it back even if you do have sensitive skin i don't recommend you using this i think it's just too harsh um, even for me like i can tolerate harsh chemicals and this is just it still burns if you do want to pick this up and use it i highly suggest you just use this on its own and then use a basic gentle uh, moisturizer and some eye cream and that's it i wouldn't really go in with like retinols or like different type of serums because i did that one night and my face just stayed itching for a good three hours you know this product is really strong so be cautious next item i have here is the starface moisture on mars hydrating face cream this does retail for 12 dollars, i believe and it does come with 1.7 fluid ounce i do love the packaging i think the packaging is so cute it does remind me of like a minion or like the lego man for some reason but yeah and plus it's very sturdy so i'm pretty sure you can definitely reuse this packaging as well now on their website they do say that this moisturizer is very hydrating it keeps the skin dewy it's very calming and it prevents breakouts now after using this product a couple of times i have to say i do not recommend this i just don't like the texture the texture to me feels very like dimethicone silicone feeling if you ever use the what is it the smashbox photo primer you will know that it has like that soft slippery feel to it literally feels just like this now i did look at the active ingredient in here and it doesn't contain any silicone or dimethicone however it does contain a lot of hydrating properties and i feel like with the formulation all combined it just feels too too slippery <laughs> now when i do apply this on my face there's like a barrier it has like that soft film to it it doesn't really sink into your skin it just kind of stays on top within a couple hours my face is literally oily now if you probably do have drier skin you may like it a little better but for me someone with really oily skin this is not good again i just i don't recommend this in general i think there's just better moisturizers out in the market last but not least is the starface lift off pore strips this does retail for 5.99 and it comes with eight strips per pack now in general i didn't want to buy this just because pore strips don't really work in general um if you are familiar with the biore pore strips that we have used and grow up with they just don't work recently i've learned that pore strips are not really good for your skin over time if you constantly do it you are going to break down the blood vessels around the corner of your nose and that's not good so why use something when it doesn't work and it's ruining your skin and overall i still don't have high hope for this because it did not do anything for my nose the only thing it got rid of is just probably like tiny hairs but my blackheads are still there if you do want to kind of get rid of your blackheads over time kind of less visible you know, try using salicylic acid um, whether it's in a cleanser form or even a serum and yeah apparently it's supposed to work i personally have not tried that method so i can't say it works honestly i just would say just stay away from the the pore strips in general so this is a pass for me so there you have it guys that is my entire review for starface <sighs> you know i can appreciate their whole theme aesthetic you know it's very it's such a fun and cute brand i really i really love that 
but when it comes down to the product itself I, I have to say I don't like any of them the only thing I would only recommend are the pimple patches I think those are so cute and they do work so I, I do like that however you know again as I stated if you do have a lot of pimples here and there I don't recommend using them every day because cost per wear is a little bit high but everything else I can kind of say pass I don't like the the toner I don't like the moisturizer pore strip unnecessary the cleanser I, you know it's okay most of the skincare products you know they do contain a lot of uh like leaf extracts which I don't know if that's really good for your skin I'm pretty sure it's safe but I don't know like extracts mm, you know I can kind of do without now, if you do want to pick up some Starface products, you can definitely visit their website, starface.com, or even visit your local Target. Yes, they do have Starface at Targets now, so that is nice. For me, I did purchase everything here during the Black Friday sale. I think uh, at the time they were having like a 25% off, so you know me. I save a little money so yeah if you do want to try out their stuff but not really pay full price for it just wait sign up for their newsletter and hopefully they will give out like discount codes through your email i'm pretty sure they will re be releasing more products in the future so maybe i will do a part two of this entire brand but for now yeah that's that's my thoughts and opinion overall i hope this video was helpful for anyone who is curious to trying out this brand of course if you are new here please consider subscribing to me uh, give this video a thumbs up because it will help me in the long run and yeah i will talk to you guys soon in the next bye